Hello again. So another very interesting question in which we are asked to find the number of bits which are required to represent the following decimal numbers. Okay. So this is one of the very important question which is very hard for the new wise in the field of digital systems to find that how many bits will be required to represent a certain decimal number okay so uh, how i do it how i approach this type of problem so let me first uh, discuss that methodology first so the first number here is this five so how would i approach this type of problem so if i have one bit if i have two bits three bits four five six or seven bits okay so these are the bits here okay and the maximum number maximum decimal number which these can represent will be the here it will be with one bit i can the maximum number i can get is one with two bits the maximum number is three with three bits the maximum number is seven with four i have 15 with five i have 31 with six i have 63 and with seven i have 127 okay these are basically the bits and these are basically the maximum numbers which uh, can be represented by those number of bits okay so suppose uh, when i will have this five here so i can very easily see that there is no five here there is no match between them but i already know that this three is the maximum number which can be represented uh, with two bits while this seven is the maximum number which can be represented by three so this five will somehow lie here okay so this will be the number which will be between three and seven and i know that there is never any binary point in between the bits okay i have to show that how many bits so that would be the maximum limit with which this five can be represented okay so from this formulation i can very easily see that this will be the maximum point here because these two bits cannot represent this five so three will be the number with which my 5 can be this 5 is the decimal number which can be represented with 3 bits okay so that is the method which I use so uh, similarly here you may also ask me that how I calculated these one so in previous video uh, I will also share the link of that video here so uh, I have showed you that it was basically 2 and minus 1 so if you put n equal to 2 okay so this is n here so if you put n equal to uh, 5 here so it will be 2 raised to the power 5 is 32 minus 1 is 31 okay so in this manner I have calculated all these things similarly systematically how would I calculate the value of the bits which can be which can represent this five so in my formulation i can see that here it can be written this five like this one where n are the required number of bits which are used uh, to represent this five which is in decimal number okay so how to find out this n here so i can very easily show you that this can be found out by using the log two of 5 okay so if you will find it you will calculate it you will get some number so you have to round that number up to the highest term okay so suppose if you got 1.2 so this means this is almost equivalent to 2 so 2 bits will be used to represent that number similarly if that is 3.7 so it means that is 4 because bit is a whole number bit is basically the whole entity so therefore you have to round that that off to the higher value or this is called the roof rounding off okay so uh, that is here so in order to calculate the number of bits for this 5 what you have to do you have to calculate and log of 2 of 5 but if you see the calculator there is no log of 2 always you will get log of 10 so what do you have to do if you want to calculate log of 2 of any number if you and you don't have the log of 2 so what you have to do you have to use the log of 10 of that number and divide it over the log 10 of 2 okay so here first of all let me calculate log 10 of 2 
so here log tan of 2 this is by default tan log ok so here it will be 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 okay so it will be used uh, here very seldom that's why i have calculated it and log tan of 5 is how much this is 0 0.698 0 0.698 okay so uh, now dividing it over 0 0.3 what i will get i will get 2.3 here Okay, but 2.3 cannot be a whole number, it cannot be the number of bits. So, if I round it off to 2 here, so what I will get? I will get 2 bits, but the maximum decimal number which I can get from 2 bits is basically 3. So, it is not possible. So, therefore, I have told you that always you have to round it off to the higher number. So, 2.3, if this is 2.3, you have to round it off to 3. So, 5 if this is 5 it will be represented by 3 bits. So, n will be equal to 3 for this 5 decimal number. Okay. So, these are basically the two methods which are used for the calculation of the number of bits. Okay. Similarly, for part b of my question here I have 10 to the base 10 okay the same method i can very easily told you that with two bits get the maximum number i can get is a three with three bits i can get seven with four bits i can get 15 so uh, you may you will see that this is the range and in this range it will lie so therefore four bits will be used for this number but uh, as i am going to use the formulation mathematical formulation here so n will be equal to log of 10 of 10 divided by log 10 of 2. So, this log 10 I have known that this will be 1 log 10 of 10 is 1. Okay, So, let me prove it here as well. Okay, That is 1 because uh, if you want to find the log of any number what does it mean? So, suppose you have a number 2 raise power 3 equal to 8. Okay, So, that is 8, but if you have a number like 2 of n equal to 16, so you want to find out the value of n which should be the number here. So, you can very easily see that this is 4, but how to find it mathematically? For it you use log 2 of 16 equal to n. Okay, So, that is the methodology for which log is used. Similarly, if you want to calculate it for log of 10, log of 10 hundred okay, equal to n. Okay, So, what does it mean? It means that if the power of 10 is n and you got 100, so what will be the value of n? So, it can be very easily seen that n will be equal to 2 here because that is the required value of n which will give me 100 when n will be the power of 10. Okay, I can also use it here and you will see that it confirms to my answer here. So, here log of 100 is how much? that would be 2. Okay. So, that is the essence of uh, this logarithm here. Similarly, what if I want to find the value of n here? So, let me calculate them. So, this is already found out and that is 0 0.3. So, log 10 of 10 is 1 because the uh, what should be the power of 10 that I will get this 10 here. Uh, so, that is 1. Okay. So, uh, if I will use log of 10, it will be 1. Let me use it here again. Okay. So, 1 by 3 or 1 by 0 0.3 is how much? That is 3.33. Okay. So, as I have already stated that this cannot be rounded off to the lower value. So, therefore, whenever I have something with the decimal point here, so I have to round it to the highest value. So, the highest value here is 4. So, I can see that 4 bits are required. This is n equal to 4. These are required to represent this 10 here. Okay. Uh, so, that is for the 10 here. Similarly, what if I want to see that how many bits should be used to represent this 15? So, I can very easily see that this 15 is already mentioned here that 4 bits are used to represent 
the 15 here. Similarly, in order to do it, I can also use the same formulation which I have had here. So, 15 with the base 10 for it, the n will be log of 10 of 15 divided by log 10 of 2 that is already known and that is 0.3. So, let me calculate it log of 15 okay and divided by 0 0.3 what I will get this is 3.92 okay this which is when rounded off I will get 4 okay so 4 bits are used to represent this 15. This is also a very important question for all of you to know that how many bits are used for any numbers to be represented. Similarly, for D, for D you can see that it lies here. So, it is already known that the value it will have will be 5 bits. Similarly, you can use the same formula here. Okay, So, uh, 5 bits will be used here. Now, let me pick this H. Okay, Now, let me use uh, this H and H is 160 decimal. So, how many number of bits should I have? to represent this one. So, now let me use the same formulation which I have. So, uh, with 7 bits the maximum number I can get is 127 and with 8 bits if I have 8 bits the maximum number I will get here would be 255. So, it lies here in between them. So, uh, I have told you that if the range is here known the lower number and the highest number within which the number can lie. So, I have to pick the highest number. Okay. So, 8 bits can be used uh, to represent this 160. Okay. So, 8 bits will be used. So, now let me use my formulation here which I have made. So, 160 divided by 0 0.3. Okay. Uh, so, now it will be log of 160 divided by 0 0.3. So, how much would it be? This is 7.3. 7.34. So, again rounding it off to the higher number, I will get n equal to 8. Okay. So, 8 is the number of bits which can be used to represent this one 60. Okay. So, that is all about the question or the very important question that how many bits uh, are required for any decimal numbers to be represented in the uh, binary numbers okay, or, the bin or in binary digits. Uh, so, that is it for today in which we have discussed all the things here and I have also shared a very simplified trick here which I use in my mind to abruptly tell that how many bits can be used to represent that decimal number. So, uh, that is it for today and uh, I hope you have got all the idea that how to represent these numbers. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.